everybody and welcome back to warhammer 40k rogue trader uh last time we got to hang out at a bar for quite a while <laughs> pretty much the entire episode uh actually the entire episode and then we promised jay here that we were gonna help her get her shit back her big smelly box uh, right here, this big smelly box, I'm assuming. <laughs> I'm assuming it's hers. I don't know. Uh, let's go have a chat, shall we? Shireen, I'm here! <laughs> and into the fog of war, they go. Probably starting off with combat right time, away. Lord Captain. We'll see if we can talk him down. Enterprise is wise. I would... Oh, sorry, I didn't realize he was speaking there. You. Servitors, thugs, servitors, combat servitors. Oh, no. These are all explosive barrels, though. So we're going to have some fun here. Uh, combat servitor, thug, thug, thug. Bandit hitman. Bandit hitman. Uh, oh, there's more back here. Bandit specialist. Armored Bandit. Armored Bandit. Okay, that seems to be it. So we're going to do our normal thing of taking Cassia and just destroying everyone in sight. Pretty much. Uh, I'm going to put her right here. She can probably take out one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe seven here. And then all these explosive barrels, which is very cool. Now the servitor is gonna be a problem for her. So maybe I should step back one. Mm, no. I won't do that. And here's why. Um, we're gonna put Avalard right here next to her so that he can take the attack here. Uh, let's see. Adira. Oh, I forgot we still have all these allies back there. 18, 18, 18, 18, 56. Okay. Um, so, we're going to take Adira. I think we're going to plop her. I don't want to put her next to the barrel. I think we're going to plop her right over here. I think that's fine. I don't think these are explosive. Oh, actually, none of them might be. Well, we'll, we'll find out once uh, Cassia gets her turn, which is right after Jay. Oh, no. Wilbur goes first. So Cassia goes first. <laughs> that's right, because he can do whatever the hell he wants with anyone. And give him them as many turns as he can. I think we'll plop him down back here. I don't know if he'll have line of sight on her, actually. So maybe we go behind this barrel. Wilbur can take a hit if it's an explosive barrel. Argenta, we want to put you over here on this side. Get some shotgun blasts on these fools right here. I think that's fine. Uh, Pascal. We're going to have you right behind Argenta here, right behind this <laughs> non-explosive barrel, I promise. A lamau. And I think that's everyone in position, right? It seems to be a start the battle. Seems and immediately give her a turn. She is going to immediately destroy everyone in this fucking room. Which is awesome. I am a navigator, Good night. not a servant. Two things we learned. Barrels, indeed explosive. The green barrels. Poison. Damn. And also, nobody died from that. Not a single person died from that. They will next turn. 
or well her <laughs> her turn uh we're actually gonna place down these oh, i should have placed down the damage one on her that's my bad all too easy well we're gonna do it here for next time here Now, Not let me put this here. Me. Let me click on this guy. Does he get the buff? It says he does get the buff. Which is weird. I feel like it shouldn't be giving them the buff. I feel like it should be giving them a debuff, if anything. That's so just odd. I don't have time for this. Um... God, I wish I could rotate these. I don't like the fact that they are non-rotatable. Okay, well, I think I will just... This cover efficiency, we'll just put it right here. For Adira. And only Adira. That leaves us with two AP. Which means we are going to... Voice a command. Argenta? Maybe? Suits yeah, my purposes. let's do that. Let's give that to Argento. And then let's take a shot at someone. Who can do... Let's see here. Who can do what? That's a pretty good shot. That's also a pretty good shot. Let's let's take a gamble. Let's try Absolutely this. Absolutely not. No line of sight on the target. Huh? Huh? What do you mean? Already Whatever. Done. We'll do this then. Oh, and I missed the other guy with a five percent chance. Are you kidding me? Well, I guess there's a chance for over penetration. I don't know what exactly the things are for that uh let's actually look here okay let's look at the actual <laughs> uh here no doesn't say anything about over penetration okay okay fair fair i guess uh we took out one guy not a good turn not a bad turn i will say I know what I'm doing. Jay coming in. Usually. Okay, cool. I was like, please don't. Uh, oh! 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 Oh, she's an officer. Or whatever. Or, uh. Is it an officer? Fuck, what class am I? Am I stupid? Uh, C? Archetypes. Officer. She's an officer. Amazing. I don't think I need three officers if she joins my crew. <laughs> uh, okay, let's take another shot then. 62, 62, 92 there. 62. Ooh. Yeah, let's do that. Poison him a bit. Nice area denial. Luckily, this guy is right outside of it, it seems. The poison. So Abelard can actually get in there and touch him, I should say. And then I will also put voice of command. Nothing I can't do. Because I was torn between the two. So now I have the opportunity to do both. Let's end it there. Let's she ends her get turn. To it. Absolutely Ugh. stupid. My ears are Amen. Ringing. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. So, we've got this here. This is an option. Or we got this here. This is an option. This is the better option. If I may. And what about it? The navigator's might. Okay. So that hurt a lot of people. Hurt a lot of cover. Hurt a lot of everything. 
That's excellent. Avalard. Are you too close to this man to... Shit. I think he's too close to do a dash and charge in. I think you have to be a certain amount away. So I'm going to give this to Argenta. Accustomed to being ordered around. Argenta is going to do a big old blast right here. Why is he still at only 50%? That's insane. Do a big shotgun blast. Thank you. Have a good day. 23. Nice. 30 there. Um, 50, 34, 30, 11, 40, 40, bandit hitman. Okay. I'm going to put this on this guy back I'll here. That's good. I'm going to put the hot on the trail on this guy back here. I refuse. Never mind, he's too far. He's literally exactly one too far. I'll put him on here. That'll end my turn. Cassie goes back. She's got 28 of these fuckers. I will let it stack. Jay's assistant coming in. See what happens. Nothing. Cool. He was stunned, I guess. Okay, Adira. Let's get out the other wand here. Okay, so I would have to move up. If I'm going to move up, I would rather it be here. And then let's see if I can reach these guys, which I can. I can hit these two. I think I will do that. future on the battlefield. Oh, what that? Very good. Now we're going to analyze this guy and debuff him. Because I think but of course. he is the most dangerous at the moment. That is not my Target destiny. too far? Okay. We're going to mark uh, this guy next. No can do. We're going to do this. Do. That'll be my turn. Guy's gonna come in. Big blast. Can I oh. go back now? That was pretty good. Go. Got him out of the got him out of the zone, but I mean a double dodge is a double dodge. Man. <laughs> Holy shit. These guys are useless. Oh my god. Are they bad? So that means. What does that mean? Um, Pascal, what kind of chances do you have to hit here? 95 there. 95 here. I think I'm going to go there. That's a good hit. I'm going to buff everyone in this goddamn place. My that seems like a good turn. Very good, very good. Um. I think I'm going to save these for when we fight these three over here. Because these guys are already debuffed to hell and back. So I think it's fine. Sheen Shirt Banishment? Ooh, that actually does hella damage to him. And it's a free action. Uh, Avalar can take care of that guy. I think I'm going to take care of this guy here. That's super good. He's really good against machines. And I had forgotten about Show that. Me what you've got. Why do you have two oh, melee my. weapon equips? That hurt him quite a bit. I Fuck thought that was Abelard for a second, and I was like, there's no way he did that much damage to Abelard. But he didn't. Me. Also, that kind of hurt. She is definitely in a danger zone at the moment. We're gonna have all these people come in. Stun grenade. Uh-oh. Yikes! That's unfortunate. 
that is quite unfortunate. But it's fine. Uh, Adira, you can go here. You can get that kill. Which I think is the the play. Can escape the Emperor's judgment. Very cool. We've got Revelin Slaughter. Wait, that gets rid of. Doesn't that get rid of winded effect? I should have run a gun first. Okay. Well, that's noted for next time. Definitely. Definitely noted for next time. Uh I will run a gun. I don't think I will move, though. 81% there. I think that's As a good hit. Commands, I act. Three damage. That's actually totally shit. Let's switch back to the shotgun here. Then we're going to end your turn. Let's get Abelard was stunned, so he can't do anything. Awesome. Finally got a turn, and then he uh, fucked it up. So... We got these three guys right here. I do have grenades. Force grenade and a gas cloud grenade. That's actually kind of a perfect throw. If I'm being real. Let's do it. Send it. Little bit of damage off the back, but definitely some area of denial. I just realized that's probably going to get these guys killed, these melee dudes, but hey, they're stupid. They're actually quite dumb. I will give this to Adira. I'll pass. I cannot give it to Adira. Target can't act. That makes sense. Uh, Cassia also can't act. Abelard also can't act. Argenta can act, but can she get a shot? I think she can get a shot without getting in the poison. I think this square is free. And I think she can get in there. So I will give it Suits to Argento. I can't move with her. I'm so stupid. Okay, let's see if we can... Oh, we can bend the bullets. I'll do it. Oh, <laughs> perfect. Boom, baby. All right. Gain momentum, I don't need it. So I will close that there. I don't know what happened there. Um, that's fine. See the oh, she's running in. Okay, that was a bad play. Not gonna lie, pretty bad play. But. Why can't she attack? Why does she only have one AP? Is it the winded? Is it because of the winded? I think it was because of the winded. Is that all? Everyone slaughter. Yeah, I think it was because of the winded. No, never mind. It's just a debuff to ballistic skill. I don't know why I have so little AP. I think that is stupid. I'm gonna end my turn. Now, Cassio. Yeah. Never mind. She can't act. I forgot. This probably wasn't the play. <laughs> I think everybody's going in there and getting hurt. Not the play. Um. No, yikes, I would say. Who died there? Was it three people? Jay's fine. Okay. This is Pascal. You've got a good shot on him. Oh, no, you've got the uh, this on him. 20 damage. That's good. Suck it. Uh, Just two health. But I don't really care. <laughs> um, let's just shoot the man, shall we? 
is not 85% is a better shot. Oh, two damage too late, brother. Can I debuff this guy? My competencies are not that universal. That's good. We'll do that. Opposing me was your biggest mistake. <laughs> big oof. Not that big of a oof. That was more of a big oof. Worse. That hurts a lot. Uh, alerts can move actually next turn. So that's good. Should we concentrate a fire? If I can get up here. Concentrate a fire and then shoot. Oh, I can't get both of them. I can't get both of them. Oh, but I don't need the the damage. I will It'll kill them both. this battlefield in fury. Yeah. Okay. Cool. That's fine. As Red the one slaughter again. I act. Which means we can run and gun again. Which means this goes to zero. I will not. So what can I shoot? Is it just the one guy left? It is. I'll right, do it. Send it. All right. I tried. Next person, Abelard. I don't want to take a. Yeah, I don't really want to take a chance there. Twenty percent. I will Good do enough. my duty. Fair. Uh, let's just. Is Everybody. Oh, does that? Oh, that got rid of everybody's stun. It seems like all the people that were stunned that couldn't act now could act and then they, they took that away. That's a pretty good way of dealing with that, I think. I think everybody's good on that. Uh, we'll endure. Give us more of that. Stop hating me. Chill. Oh, 62%. If I can get in closer, uh, his arm is not very good. Where can I move to? If I go here, can I knock him out of cover? I kind of sort of can. Is that worth it? With everyone going next, I don't think it is. So we're going to chill on that. We're still going to move here and we're still going to do My this 62%. Hey, baby. Another clean strike. And then who can reach him from here? You know what? Let's give her a shot. All too easy. What are you doing? Zero damage. Zero. None. Nada. Excellent. Thank you for your time. Going somewhere? There we go. What a mess. Okay. Didn't even fucking talk to me. <laughs> Hello? What's happening? I can't do anything. I guess I will hold enter to skip. Okay. Okay, that was weird. Uh, two, three, five. Thank the exalted one. Those ash mags didn't have time to make off with anything yet. Jay carefully inspects the containers emblazoned with markings from the same unknown freight operator, then smiles and touches the comm bead in her ear. Give me two minutes, Shireen. I'll send the coordinates to my loyal crew will deliver my property somewhere safe. Wait. And done. Jay removes her hand from her ear and turns to you. 
we're good. <laughs> now, how about we relocate to a more pleasant and private space to discuss the details of our deal, specifically payment for your efforts? Uh, what? We're just going to leave the priceless cargo here unattended? I hope your vault vaunted wisdom is worth all the trouble. Or let's go. We're just going to leave it unattended? Nothing to worry about. After all the ruckus we've caused here, I doubt anyone is going to go anywhere near the containers. <laughs> I hope I am, however, infinitely flattered by the concern of my now our property. Let's go. Jay opens her mouth to reply when you hear the sound of many footsteps behind you. Oh, no. The Liege's agents. Stop right there in the name of the Liege. The gaunt, pale-skinned man in a grimly clerical robes lances at you and immediately falls to his knees. Abs Absinquidly? I don't know what that is. Your Excellency, please forgive the vehemence, veh vehemence, <laughs> most noble Wilbur. I never expected to encounter such imminent presence or persons in the corner in this corner of footfall. I am Vladan's Takara. Vladim Takara's personal agent. The man hesitates, choosing his words carefully. I came here to remove, a f remove from criminal circulation a s shipment. The distri distribution of which is banned on the lands of Footfall. Horrendous Xeno heresy that has been fraudulently delivered to the ba to a bastion of Holy Imperium. He looks at Jay. I do not. I do not doubt for a moment the most notable Wilbur that your presence here is merely a misunderstanding brought about by another's manipulations. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, number six has seated. It's too great a coincidence that the Legion's representative should arrive in the Shadow Quarters just after Jay has recovered her rifle spoils. It seems that the guards reporting the problem reported the problems with the shipment over the Vox, and not to just anyone, but the Legion's personal agent, Vladams Takars, uh, knew the shipment from the start and planned to take it for himself and get rid of Jay if he could. Behold the grubby, underhanded struggle between cold traders. And had it not been for your impromptu deal struck in the bar, Vladam might have succeeded. Gain 62 experience. Uh, you're absolutely right. I have nothing to do with the shipment or the woman standing next to it. Jay had Heydari. The owner of this cargo is uh, presently under my protection, under the road trader's protection. Tell your master that he should think twice before crossing her from now on. The cargo belongs to the Von Valentius dynasty. Is Lord Takara trying to encroach upon the property of a rogue trader? Ooh. Uh, let's give her some, some fucking cred, you know? Don't forget to tell him that I'm not mad. <laughs> but I will be collecting the debt sometime. Interesting. Jay watches him hurry away, then looks at you. I wish I could see Vladim's face when he finds out he almost stepped in the toes of one of the most powerful people in the Expanse. Listen, Wilbur, I'm genuinely sorry about this. Confusion. Vladim and I have uh, had our difficulties, but I never thought he would want to clean me out and do away with me in some dark corner. At least, not so soon. If you hadn't agreed to our deal, Shireen, my gang and I would already be floating in orbit around one of Footfall's asteroids. And yes, my shipment contains Xenos out Xeno artifacts, possession of which is a death sentence for any con commoner. But you, Shireen, do not strike me as a commoner. If I told you directly, you would have become, shall we say, complicit. But since those illicit words did not escape my lips... You would merely be agreeing to help an unfortunate soul, me, to capture a few containers. My sincerest wish was to protect you from any unnecessary trouble, Shireen. I swear by the Exalted One, and I do hope that this uh, misunderstanding will not affect our future cooperation. 
The statement is true with the exception that you yourself are an uneducated laywoman and a thief who ought to stay away from the technical uh, perversities of non-humans. I am now requesting your prevental disposal. Preventive disposal? Uneducated me? I've held things in my hands that you, cog for brains, can only dream in your oiled soaked data fantasies. Stop hiding behind piety and law. Uh, you're simply defending your clique's monopoly on anything and everything of interest and monetary value. All right, let's execute her? Fucking Christ. It's a little much. Uh, <laughs> tell me about your business on foot. Follow the truth of it and don't leave anything out. A rug trader could use someone of your talents and connections, Jay. I would like to see you in my retinue. If you want us to stay partners, no more secrets or half-truths. I'll be merciful and give you a choice, heretic. You can atone for your deplorable crimes against the Imperium through your service to the Von House of Von Valencius. Or you can die where you stand. I'll take it. We <laughs> I'll take what we agreed to, but I never want to see you again. Uh, join me. Exalted one bless you and your entire dynasty. I wouldn't say no to marking the occasion properly. It's not every day you embark on a brilliant new business partnership. Abelard gives you a look of reproach. You sully the Von Valencius name by inviting people like her into your retinue, Lord Captain. The decision is yours, but do not be surprised if unsavory rumors start to spread on footfall. Argenta regards Jay. It is a strange circle you are forming around yourself, rogue traitor. Well, you're one of them, bitch. Uh, Sister Argenta, Jay gives <laughs> her an almost lecherous once-over. I've heard all about your deeds on f here on Footfall, uh, but I never would have guessed there was an angelic beauty behind all the idle gossip. Either way, I'm entirely willing to join your retinue. From now on, my knowledge and expertise or experience are entirely at your disposal. Profit factor gain two. Oh, and one more thing, if you're interested in a rather lucrative offer, one that can give the Von Valencius Protectorate a leg up, I'd say now isn't the time to be thinking about such things, but once we get back to your ship, perhaps you could spare a minute for Shireen. And look at that. She's a part of the crew, Ayadira. Okay. All the officers. <laughs> All right, Jay. Let's see what you got in terms of. Oh. She's got double pistols and a chain sword. It's a very cool chain sword. Eldari chain sword. That's cool. Your cape. A cloak mimic fibers blend the correlate coloration the wearer into their surroundings cloak grants the wearer 10% dodge. Interesting. She's got grenades. Crack grenades. Nice. An onslaught. And she's got a armored body glove, which I think we have something better for. Let's check out these pistols here. Shuriken pistol. Pistol burst. A 6 to 10. 15 armor penetration. Max ammo 18. Splinter pistol. Has a toxic burst, 25% armor penetration, 6 to 9. And then this sword, 12 to 24. Damn. It's pretty good. Her weapon skill is 35, ballistic skill 60. So she's actually more of a gun person than a melee person. Fellowship is 70, which is good to have. What is my fellowship? 69 plus 4. Hers is actually better. Hers is 60. Wow. Okay. Good to know. Tech use is up. Persuasion is up. Medicaid is up. Xenos lore is very high. 
That's good. Imperium lore is very high. Commerce is very high. Coercion is very high. Logic is relatively high. Interesting. 90% dodge chance. Excellent. Okay. Very, very cool. Let us level up, shall we? All right. Oh, actually, hold on. I don't want to level up just yet. Let me go here. Let me look at her proficiency or, uh, damn it. I'll go here. I want to look at her. I want to look at weapons. Can she equip some of the cool alien shit we've been getting? She can, in, get, in fact, get the Venom Blade. That's cool. Um, she can't use that, can't use that. She can use the Blast Pistol. Holy shit. Absolutely, she's using that fucking Blast Pistol. Uh, fuck that Pistol Burst. Yeah, we'll keep the Toxic. That's so good. Uh-huh. Revolver. Good. Ripper auto pistol. Let's take a look at the guns here. I think that's it. Okay, cool. A flame she can use. I think I will put that venom blade on here for her. Oh, that looks sick. That's actually sick. Well, let me actually compare that uh, sword. Okay, so it does do less damage and less armor penetration. But it does do poison damage, I'm assuming. Let's actually uh, take a look here. Info, and a slash. No? Doesn't do any poison? Okay, well, never mind. We're gonna let her keep her cool chainsword then. Um, okay. That's cool. We've got armor. Let's see if we got any better armor for her. Uh, didn't we have improved armor body gloves? Uh, what is this actually? 25%, this is 25%, and it gives me the buff. Throw that on her. Cool. Let's see what kind of helmet we can give her. Plus 20% bonus to coercion. And minus 5 to awareness, which she doesn't use. Excellent. Very cool. Haunting Scream she doesn't have. Logic plus three. Voice command ability. Oh, what does that say? Whenever an ally under the effect of the wearer's voice command ability makes an attack during an extra turn. This attack deals an additional percentage damage. Actually, do I want that on him? I actually think I want that on him. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't have that on him, honestly. Uh, this right here, once per turn, when he scores a critical hit with a pistol, the next attack with a pistol costs zero AP. Okay. I think that's definitely going on her. For sure. Imperium lore tests depend on fellowship instead of intelligence and gain plus three bonus. That's pretty good, but I don't think it's uh, necessary. Logic. Bayonet knife. Don't think I need that. Uh, incre... Grants the owner 15 bonus Imperium lore. Do I have anything else for that slot? Okay. I don't have anything else for that slot, so I might as well put that in there. 125. Not bad. Let's see, gloves we got here. 
Using grenades costs one AP less for the wearer. Enemies suffer plus 2% damage from the wearer's grenades. She gains plus 5 to persuasion, which I don't think I need. All attacks of opportunity deal an additional agility damage. That's pretty cool. I think I'll just put these on here just to have them. Uh, she doesn't have any boots. The wearer raises momentum to 175 every time they kill five enemies in a row in one turn. That's not happening. Uh, Phantom Cloak, I don't think we're going to get rid of anything here. No. Increase the range of officer archetyped abilities by one cell. No, thank you. Where is immune to burning? Also, whenever the wearer ends their turn, burning is removed from all adjacent tiles. That's cool. The Von Valencius Cloak. All the wearers at full wounds, they gain plus five to all characteristics. That's pretty good. Uh, for now, she can't use meds. Unfortunate. She can use the plasma grenades. Yeah, let's throw them that on there. Let's actually do that too. I don't like I don't I don't really care about the stems, honestly. Uh, okay. I think that's it for you. I think that's all good. Now let's level up, shall we? Adjusting frontline, crossfire zone. Using a stratagem on the frontline area grants allies in the area a big buff increased to dodge against other allies' attacks. Oh, that's weird, actually. Uh-huh. Okay, um... All this. Redeployment. Every time a combat tactic area is affected by a stratagem... Uh, what exactly is a stratagem again? Category Grand Strategic... Grand Strategist archetype abilities each stratagem type has its own interaction with combat tactic areas and grants benefits to allies within them okay very interesting now what was this uh all allies in the area gain plus one mp for the following turn stacks with itself point of interest all combat tactic bonuses are increased by Intelligence plus fellowship divided by 2% if the area was not moved for two rounds. Personal zone. Allies, including the Grand Strategist, in the same combat tactics area with the Grand Strategist gain plus 3 int bonus divided by 2 perception and ability. Agility. Enduring zone. Using a stratagem on a combat tactics area grants all allies in the area plus three deflection against the next melee attack they suffer. Diversion. Using a stratagem on the rear area also makes the allies in that area the enemy's lowest priority targets for one turn. That's pretty good, honestly. Let's take a little bit more of a look. Crit zone. Uh, using strategy on the backline area grants allies in the area increased critical hit chance against enemies they are protected by cover from. Enemies in the same combat tactics area with the grand strategist suffer a dodge penalty and parry penalty. They fire at will. If there are no enemies in the backline area, the first attack in the turn made by every ally in that area costs one less AP. Ooh, that's pretty good. Interesting. Improvised strategy. At the start of combat, the Grand Strategist gains one random unknown stratagem and can use it until the end of combat for zero AP. That's interesting. That's pretty cool, actually. Using the on the combat areas uh, grants all allies in the area ability to move one cell within the product area of attack of opportunity. Oh. 
move one cell without provoking. Uh, use the first strider use turn can be used a second time for zero AP. That's cool. Get your stronghold stratagem. I have that right. I do. So I only have this one stratagem. From what I understand. Ooh, increase AP. Oh, wow. Cool. Um, so if I get a, if I just get a random stratagem that I can use until the end of combat for zero AP, that's super good. I think I'll take that, honestly. Sniping zone? Each ally in the rear area gains a uh, critical hit chance if there are no enemies within five cell radius around the ally. I think I'll just take that. Thank you. Have a good day. Vanguard. Let's read these. Taunting opportunity. Oh. When the Vanguard hits an enemy with an opportunity, attack of opportunity, the enemy must make a willpower resistance test on the failed test. The Vanguard becomes its enemy priority target until the end of the Vanguard's next turn. Uh, each stack of unyielding beacon additionally increases armor and parry by one. Ooh, that's good. While well, the Vanguard has at least one temporary wound, they gain five toughness percent parry and armor. They gain parry and armor. That's actually insane for him. He always has temporary wounds. So just having that buff, and it's his toughness too, so he's super tough. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think I'll take that. Uh, Argenta for the bounty hunter. Let's see here. Gruesome kill. When prey is killed, all enemies within a 10 cell radius around the prey have their agility reduced by bleh, and for two rounds. Heightened concentration. Whenever the bounty hunter scores a critical hit, they gain 4% armor penetration till the end of combat stacks. Damn. Whenever an enemy is killed by a critical hit scored by the bounty hunter or their ally, the bounty hunter gains damage percentage for two rounds. It's whenever an enemy is killed by a critical hit. And she just gets a buff. That's insane. Here's the armor whenever the bounty hunter scores a critical hit. The target's armor is reduced by five per, uh, by whatever percentage until the end of combat. Stack, share the spoils. Whenever an ally kills prey, the bounty hunter gains half of the bonuses granted by hunt down the prey. Withdraw. Whenever the bounty hunter is attacked in melee range for the first time since the end of their turn, they automatically dodge that attack with and move one cell in the opposite direction of the enemy. The bounty hunter does not provoke an opportunity attack with this movement. That's great, actually. I think that and this, the hunting surge, I think I'll take the withdraw first, though. Uh, we ha I think I'll take withdraw for him, too, actually. Just keep them, keep them more safe so they can't get uh, hurt. I need linchpin for that. What is linchpin? Oh, I could have gotten in it instead of inspire. Okay. Uh, linchpin is this one. Target ally or the master tactician grants one resolve for every five stacks of advantage. Uh, but the man loses blah, 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 blah. Until the end of the Master Tactician's next turn, the Master Tactician uh, gains stack of tactical advantage equal to blah, 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 of all momentum the target gains. Okay. I don't know if that's necessary. Now spends only a fourth of the tactical advantage stacks instead of half. Oh, okay. So let's see. Against all odds, the Master Tactician begins combat with additional stacks of tactical advantage equal to the number of enemies. That's super good. 
That's not going to be very good. Uh, deals 12% more damage to targets with less than 50% wounds and heals 20% more wounds for targets with less than 50% wounds. Okay, so you want a Master Tactician as your healer. That's interesting. Uh, all of their abilities work as if the uh, Tactician has six or more stacks of tactical advantage. Okay. Joint offensive. The Master Tactician gains one stack of tactical advantage for every hit scored on an enemy. That's probably the one. Let's be real, she's hitting fucking everyone in the room. Uh, whenever the Master Tactician or their allies gain momentum, they gain plus one more. Whenever the Master Tactician or their allies lose momentum, they lose one more. Okay, very cool. And suppressing fire. All enemies hit by the Master Tactician have a 10% higher chance of hitting cover when shooting at the Master Tactician's allies behind cover. So, if I hit them, they're 10% more likely to hit the cover when they're shooting at our allies. That's what I'm understanding. Which is also pretty good, but I will be taking the joint offensive. Now, we have a fuck ton here. Oh, actually, I need to pick a thing here. Vanguard, not, I'll probably take Master Tactician, if I'm being real. Grand Strategist. Yeah, let's go Tactician here. Next. Next. Inspire. Target gains 5% damage and 5% additional for every ta uh, Master Tactician has, but the Master Tactician loses all that shit. Uh, if the target uses a heroic act before the beginning of the next episode, they gain plus 25 momentum. Not super good. I don't uh, really see a point not to take it. The target gains two temporary wounds and one additional temporary wound for every two stacks they have. But the Master Tactician loot. Okay. Uh, until the beginning of the Master Tactician's next turn, whenever the target loses temporary wounds from damage, the target gains momentum equal to the number of wounds lost. I think I'll take Inspire again. Let's read the rest of these. Assign objective. Uh, marks an enemy. That enemy is killed. Uh, before the beginning of the next turn, the allies gain momentum. And plus five to all characteristics until the end of combat. The bonus to all characteristics does not stack. That could be interesting. If I put that on people that are about to die and then I use them to get killed. That just buffs our party. Interesting. Uh, suffers direct damage equal to 20% of their maximum wounds, gains resolve stacks, uh, resets cooldown of all those shits. Okay, don't like that for sure. Finish the job. Can only use w on enemies that are unfinished business effect. This effect is applied to enemies which were attacked by uh, our allies, but not the Master Technician, and have less than 50% of their maximum wounds remaining. The Master Technician immediately attacks the target with a single shot or strike. This attack does not count towards the attacks per turn limit, dealing half of the weapon's maximum damage in addition to their ballistic skill damage. Interesting. I think I'll still take Inspire. Here... We're also probably going to hit... Oh, well. No, that's not very good for her. Specifically. Why is that number different for her? Because of her fellowship bonus. Got it. Equal to number of enemies? That's good. Okay. And she's all caught up, ladies and gentlemen. And so are we. A uh, little bit of contained episode here. Oh, I actually haven't uh, <laughs> gotten all their toys. Let's take a look, shall we? Dynamo boots. Increase the wearer movement points by three. Pretty good. A bunch of Garbo. Heretical follower. 
Okay, cool. Now, was that everyone? I think it was. It seems to have been. Okay, cool. So we now have a new party member in the form of Jay. Congratulations. Welcome to the party, Jay. Very cool. I don't know what exactly we're going to do next time, but it'll be a fun one. I promise. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one.